Good Navit is a show that shows the people in our community what food places are out there to eat at. Now they're special places, they're not the kind of places that you just normally go to, you know, on day to day that's right outside the gate that, you know, you're taken to, you know, your sponsor takes you there the first day. These are places that are uh, hidden gems and, and unique, whether it be the ambiance or the food, there's something special about these restaurants and we want to show our community that there's more out there. Now I'm the chef cook. Good, what do we have it on the food? Are you new to Europe, wondering where to go for a good meal? Are you craving something unique? AFN Heidelberg presents Guten Appetit, the show that takes you to our favorite places to eat. Essentially our goal was to, to take people out into the community, uh, introduce them to places that we've eaten, and, and hopefully eventually introduce them to places where our viewers have eaten. Uh, at, and they like. We had a, a focus group of about 20 people that came in and were talking about AFM spots. And one thing they said was, we want to know more about what's going outside the gate. They don't need their commander sitting there telling them, hey, don't do this, don't do that. They see the sexual assault spots, and those are great. But they wanted something fresh, something that they'd be that would entertain them. And that's something that we're doing. We're bringing them entertainment and information at the same time. And that's what Guten Appetit is. Before I came to AFN Heidelberg, I'd watched a lot of Food Network stuff back in the States. And it just it was something I enjoyed watching. Um, and when we got here, I was noticing some of the places we were going to eat. And I'm like, I wonder if our community knows about this. Uh, we tossed the idea around and somebody finally said, hey, let's do this. And so we threw a name at it, Guten Appetit, got a, got a hold of uh, the graphics department. One of the things I you noticed that we did... Um, Whenever a new show is produced, often it's a good idea to bring in the graphics department uh, because they um, can work with uh, the way the the way the whole show will look, its color scheme, uh, the graphics that will be involved, the promotional material that's used to um, entice the viewer into watching it. Really the only problem, the only challenge is when we really put our minds to it, I'd say we started the process about four months ago. Uh, what was involved was really, um, it's not just going out and shooting a television piece at a restaurant. But all the all the legwork that had to go on before that, we had to develop a brand. We had to come up with a graphic design and a treatment that we wanted for uh, our television intro, for a web intro, for a promo, for lower thirds, and for an end pages. We had to create a complete graphics package, and 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 that takes some time to do the creative thought process of what do we want this to look at like. I'm fixing all the technical glitches. We can't have technical glitches. When you have a, when you're doing a new show and you see the uh, production work that's gone into the show, uh, in the case of Guten Appetit, um, I could see right away um, that was shot very nice. The uh, the production quality is very high. So when you see something like that immediately, as a graphics person, um, you get excited. It gives you ideas, and you want to be a part of a of a project that's you know is going to be a success. Well, right now what we're doing is we're showing the main meal that the restaurant cooks. So you're going to go in, you're going to, we're going to show you the restaurant, kind of show you the ambiance and how it is. And then we're going to take you through a session of with the cook. We use uh, cayenne pepper to uh, soak it into the cayenne. cayenne. So now we have to put all that beef in the big pot. <laughs> we'll see various parts of the preparation. A little bit of salt on it. We'll engage and hopefully have conversation with the people doing it. And she does it with one hand. I can't believe it. Oh my gosh! But I'm I'm half French, half German. Okay. <laughs> so, so it's natural for you to cook French potatoes. Yeah, sure. <laughs> okay. And then we'll probably talk to some of the customers and uh, get their opinion of the food that they're eating. It really feels like being in Mexico. Food is very good. Yeah. The ribs are the best I have found. And then we take a bite of it and tell you if it's good or not. Mm. It's good. And everything we've done so far has been pretty good. And the guacamole is just out of sight. Uh, the longer version, which airs on our website, will actually be a little bit more in-depth because we're limited to a two-minute segment for the television newscast. You're going to be able to watch the show on AFN Prime Atlantic Monday through Friday. Then you can check out the website and see a longer version, and that's going to be on our website, the heidelberg.afneurope.net. So you can see a long version, and you can see the two-minute version on TV. They can comment on our Facebook page, and we'll take note of people and suggestions and where they'd like us to go. Um, eventually, also, uh, our goal is to be able to provide a dinner night out at the featured restaurant for those two weeks. They're going to have the opportunity to win tickets or a meal to that restaurant, two free, you know, a, a night out on the town at one of, the, one of our restaurants. So we're going to be giving away tickets on our show. So when we launch a new 
new Guten Appetit. Um, we're going to be announcing that Friday we'll have a drawing. We're going to ask them a question that relates to the Guten Appetit. It could be what meal it was. It could be something funny that was uh, said. The French actually do this in a, a nice book because I'm Scottish and it's going to do an not. <laughs> Who knows? It'll be a surprise each week. And, and then they can be entered in a drawing for a night out for, to dinner for a couple at that well, restaurant. We've got stuff to give away. That's right. We've got two sets of so tickets. it's interactive. They can watch the show, then call up our radio station and get some tickets and go eat it for free. And it's a it's a great way to get our community involved. The thing that we do, we put it on the I stove. I could only use this pot my special food. just stoked about this show it's fun you know it's it's fun to create something and bring it to life from an idea and that's what we've done here at AF in Heidelberg we've we've found something that we're all engaged in uh, we're excited about everybody loves to eat and people love to to try new things and that's what this show does it allows you to see things that you don't normally go to and we're bringing it to life and we're bringing it to our our listeners and our viewers and and uh, we hope they like it it's totally unique. This is only food. It's, it's based on food and it's local. So these are, these are things that are in your area where you can eat. If you're watching it, that means that restaurant's not too far away from your place. Or if you watch Europass, it might be something that's 12 hours away. And those are great to you know, go travel to those places, but these are something that after you watch that show, you can walk right out the door and go to this place right then and there. And hopefully our personality will come across a little bit in the show because, well, we like food too.